Hello and welcome. In this video, we are discussing about uh, Java Server Pages Exception Handling. So we will discuss how to handle exceptions in JSP. So when you are writing a JSP code, you might make a coding errors which can occur at any part of the code. And there may occur the type of errors in your JSP code. First, a checked exception. So a checked exception is an exception that is typically a user error or a problem that cannot be foreseen by the programmer. For example, if a file is to be opened but the file cannot be found, an exception occurs. And these exceptions cannot simply be ignored at the time of compilation. Runtime exception. A runtime exception is an exception that probably could have been avoided by the programmer and as opposed to the checked exception runtime exceptions are ignored at the time of compilation errors these are not exceptions at all but problems that arise beyond the control of the user or the programmer errors are typically ignored in your code because you can rarely do anything about an error for example if a stack overflow occurs, an error will arise and they are also ignored at the time of compilation. So we will further discuss ways to handle runtime exception or error occurring in your JSP code using exception object. So the exception object is an instance of a subclass of throwable example java.lang.null pointer exception and is only available in error pages. So the table lists out the important methods available in the throwable class. Method and a description. Public string get message. Returns a detailed message about the exception that has occurred. And this message is initialized in the throwable constructor. Public throwable get cause. Returns the cause of the exception as represented by a throwable object. Public string to string returns the name of the class concatenated with the result of get message. Public void print stack trace prints the result of to string along with the stack trace of system dot error. There are output string. Public stack trace element get stack trace returns an array containing each element on the stack trace. And the element at index 0 represents the top of the call stack and the last element in the array represents the method at the bottom of the call stack. Public throwable fill in stack trace. Fills the stack trace of this throwable object with the current stack trace adding to any previous information in the stack trace. So JSP gives you an option to specify error page for each JSP and whenever the page throws an exception JSP container automatically invokes the error page. So, uh, write, we will write one error handling JSP show error tag with, and notice that error handling page includes the directive at page, straight page is error page equal to true. This directive causes the JSP compiler to generate exception instance variable. Using JSTL tags for error page, you can make use of JSTL tags to write an error page and this page has almost the same logic with better structure and more information. Then using try clash block. So if you want to handle errors with the same page and want to take some action instead of firing an error page, you can make use of the try catch block. So this was a brief discussion on Java server pages exception handling. Thanks for watching this video. Bye for now.